Hello Internet, this is The Root. I'm currently running a bad sector test on an 80 gigabyte IDE ATA-133 Maxter hard disk. You know, probably done thousands of countless video blogs about coming across and pulling drives out of discarded rigs. Yeah. Well, this is just another one and this one's got ironically bad sectors. I don't know how many because I'm not bothering to pull the IDE machine out of storage. And well, it's in the cupboard, but I don't feel like pulling it out at all. But if I wanted to, I really wanted to, I could pull it out. And the rest speaks for itself. I could boot it off a USB stick in Linux, or it actually does have Linux in it already. Hello, PC. What you doing? What you doing, babies? Oh, he's interrupting me. He wants affection, that's what he wants. Well, in general, I'm gonna probably use that drive for backing up my data. If it's not shut, it's not shot. I got plenty more drives, mostly IDE. I have a lot of SATA drives, because, you know, I take them out of you discarded rigs, and I've given a media to my neighbors in case I have a drive that failed, I just give them an extra. Plus I got extras. I had to deal with two drives that failed. Ironically one of them was my Windows drive. Oh, finally yeah. I guess he didn't want to interrupt me anymore. Okay. Yeah, so giving this a quick scan and I want to pretty much make sure this thing is not fucked. As you can see in the determinations window it's doing, it is, uh, doing what it's got to do. And, you know, having something that's fucked with bad sectors, I don't think anyone wants that. So if I pulled up my rig, I could have actually figured that out. But I'm using the SATA IDE combo USB cable to directly hook it up. You know, the bare bones, bare bones shit. So... Once this bad sector scan is complete, and I'm using random test sequences, good. But it's probably going to lag to death when it gets to that point. I don't know where on the disk it is. Center, middle, end, or center, middle, edge of the platter. I got no idea where the fuck it is, so it's going to take time before that's complete. And I'm probably just going to, you know, Stream video, flight simulator, something, create music in order to pass the time by. Oh, there he is again. There he is again. There she is. See, she is a big furry kitten. Oh, he's not a kitten no more. No, some say he acts like it. Yeah. Now it's your little one. Yeah. Anyways, I am pretty much going to jump on a flight simulator, and that's pretty much it. It's going to take a while for it to do the bad sector scans, and you know the rest. Oh, what's he going to do now? What's he going to do now? Sniffing the camera? Yeah, what you sniffing the camera? I just blow my microphone, which I'm gonna raise. Oh, that's better now. Jumped away. Yeah, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> I don't always expect my baby to, uh, one of mine, to interrupt my video blogs, but this sometimes happens, so what do you do when that happens anyway? Now he's gonna. Out of my man-made, my custom shelf, made of uh, crates. It's a bit messy, but I'll show you. There he is. What you doing, hiding in there? Yeah. Are you knocking things down again? Are you knocking things down again? <laughs> He's such a sweetie kid. He's a 
silly little kitty. Aren't you a silly kitty? Yeah. And a keyboard's basically one I gotta repair. It's got a few dead keys that actually died a second time after I didn't clean part of it out. So I gotta do that again. You can see how I got that shelf made. It's entirely made out of milk crates. Those are some records up there. My headphones, some headsets. They all work. Pile of webcams, speakers. There's a mixing board over here where the paper is. That's printer paper and that's the mixing board over there. I haven't used it for a while but it still works. The phone, caller ID unit, and that's he see this lay in there. Add another set of speakers up there because I gotta get those things hooked up. You know. And that's the primary uh, Logitech attack joystick. Sorry you can't really see too much on there, but I don't got an infrared blaster on this thing. Or Wait a second. What you doing playing with the phone? I do have an infrared blaster. The remote. I forgot. <laughs> I don't chew on the phone cord. Don't chew on it. Can you actually see that? Oh my gosh. What you doing? What you doing, you see? I'm sorry about the strobe effect, but if you can actually see that, I'm shocked. Oh my gosh, you can actually see that. <laughs> wow, I didn't know you could see infrared light. I'm effectively shining it in his face. <laughs> and he sees so strange. Yes, you're turning gray when I shine that on you. <laughs> well, anyways, yeah, that's the it's pretty much the joystick I use. On a flight simulator. You can see it better that way. So, it's a good joystick. Logitech Attac 3. It's old. I've had to fix the gasket. You can see tape around it. And those speakers in there are USB, pretty much USB powered. So, yeah. I'll put the remote back. Put the camera back. Teeny tiny webcam the size of a dime. used to be the DVR until we got a better one that's more narrow angled otherwise you couldn't see shit for the other end okay well I'm gonna cut this video vlog short I'm sure you had a lot of cat to see which is good and I'm gonna get towards checking that drive out as usual Let's see what that progress is nearly complete and then that's probably where the chaos is going to happen. Anyways, uh, that's about all. Peace out. Thank you for watching.